Hello everyone, I am the Solar Gamer, and welcome to the first episode of the International YouTube Space Station Project. Now this project has been explained by me and Try Dying to Live in the uh, announcement video, but essentially we're going to get a bunch of YouTubers to collaborate together to make an international space station up above Kerbin. Now that is no easy feat, let me tell you, but like I said, this is the first episode, so we must launch the core. Alright, so let's jump in, and let me show you the blueprints behind what we want. Alright, well apparently it didn't save. So, we're going to back out of this, start a game, we're gonna name this the... Oh, nope. We're gonna name this the IYSS for International YouTube Space Station. We're gonna start off with the probe. This is going to be an unmanned craft, well the core is anyways. Now this core isn't mine, per se, because I do want to add a module later on, so that'll be my turn. I just gotta get this up there so that we can start this project. Now one thing that we were pretty clear on was that we wanted to dump this probe, and we want to use the can and this storage container, actually like that. Now we're just going to end the flight on this probe once we get it up there. The reason why we're doing the probe is because we're using this lander can right here. And we don't want crew in it. So that's the reason why we're doing it this way. It's a little bit out of the way, but it doesn't matter. Okay, add a decoupler right there, there, boom. Another adapter on there. Now we add a clampertron on this side as well, upside down. Thank you. And another right there. Just to make it branch off a little bit, see what people do. Yeah, I think that's how we add it. And we're just going to add a couple ladders. Just to make this thing traversable in EVA. Okay, brilliant. Just like that. This side is totally devoid of ladders. <laughs> that's alright. Okay, so let's add some RCS ports on here. And there as well. Beautiful. Now we're going to need some lights, obviously, because everybody loves lights. And we're going to face it at the ports a little bit. Oh. And I believe right there. Let's actually see how that works. Okay, testing the lights. That should be good enough. It's going to light up whatever is there. Good. Awesome. All right. Now, while I would love to add as many things as possible on this, we are going to keep this computer friendly because once this is expanded upon, it's going to be absolutely crazy on whoever's trying to dock. So, we're going to keep it kind of, you know, low end on each module, but uh, it'll definitely look good in the end. Now, I could use my trick like I did with the UFO to get the probe inside here, but... You know, that is a bug, and if they fix it later, and we go to use this craft, I don't want problems. So that's why we're going to jettison it, and then we're going to rename this little lander can the, um, the space station. So, that's how that's going to work. But first, we need to set up the launch. Now, I'm trying to think of a good height for the orbit, and I'm going to have to look when we get out into the map view, but I don't want it too high, and I don't want it too low. I want it just right. <laughs> we'll have to see. I just thought of a good idea. To reduce wobbling, I'm gonna try something new. Now I'm gonna do this off screen and then I'm gonna pop back in so that I don't waste any time. Okay, now that should reduce wobbling a little bit, I think. I'm not entirely sure how durable these docking clamps are. If they can hold it together like cement, then this should be wobble free. Supposedly. I just don't want to put these struts on the craft because then it'll leave the little end pieces and that wouldn't look too good. All right, let's get this thing into orbit. Let's use these jumbo orange fuel tanks for the main engine. Okay. 
I forgot the SAS. Stick that in there. Beautiful. Okay, so for the staging, I want to do something a little bit special. I was with PDTV. I don't know if you guys know him, but uh, he does Kerbal Space Program videos as well. And he discovered a new method on efficiency. Now we're going to grab these fuel ducts. We're going to drain this one into this. We're going to drain this one there. Why aren't you doing symmetry here? Damn you. Okay, and then this last one right here is going to drain into the main orange tank. And what's going to happen is this stage right here is going to go first. Once it's emptied, this stage will be full. That's going to go so forth. And then this last stage is going to have full fuel. That is the plan. Now I need to stage it correctly. Awesome. And I think we are all set. Let me just add some launch struts on there. Good. All right. Now let's launch this thing. Yep. I was afraid that would happen. <laughs> Wait a minute. What did happen? It's watching us. No. Needs more boosters, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's just too heavy. See, it wants to go up, and then it's like, nope. Oh, sweet Jesus. All right, what if I get rid of one fuel tank? on there. It's going to be a hell of a lot worse, but we've got no other choice. I guess now we can add some boosters. Okay, good. That doesn't interfere with anything. All right, this is definitely going to work. It's got more than enough firepower now. All right, here we go. Take three. Yeah, there we go. We're actually getting some uh, elevation here. That's a pretty... Oh, God. Did I put these on awkwardly? I did, didn't I? Damn. <laughs> they kind of look weird, but that's all right. They're useful. Oh, crap. We're going to... Hang on. Quickly switch. Good. That better not drop into the SRB. Or I'm going to get mad. <laughs> Oh, it is. It's going to interfere. Damn it. D Ooh. That was the wrong one. What? <laughs> no. Yeah, for some reason, the symmetry is just messed up. What did I do here? This is very, very strange, but we've got it now. Okay. Apparently, there's... <laughs> Get away. Before we actually do anything, I am worried about this first stage smashing into the SRB. So, let's add Separatrons. More boosters. There we are. All right, now let's just freaking launch this thing. <laughs> All right, ready, T minus three, two. One. Awesome. Yes. I'm really hoping this first stage goes correctly. Because if it doesn't, then it's going to smash into the SRBs and utter chaos will pursue. Yes! Oh my god, yes! Whew! <laughs> oh, I'm excited now. Okay. Good stuff. That's a proper stage. <laughs> awesome. All right, get out of here. Smash into the ground so I don't have to see your face anymore. Come on. There we go. Wait a minute, why is this engine not on? Hey, but why are you way over there? No, get in there quickly. Son of a... 
Oh god. God. Why wasn't that engine on, damn it? You pesky little Oh, I'm gonna beat you. Alright, we've invested millions and trillions of dollars into this. Wait a minute. Millions and trillions? Well, that's kind of a big leap. So we've spent the last drop of our money creating this last copy of this craft. So this has to work. Now one thing before we actually do set off, this engine, this main engine right here, has a problem with overheating. So we are going to have to set the thrust down a little bit here. That's about good. There should be some setting where you could click on, right click on an engine and we should be able to set the thrust using a slider. Just saying, that would make things a little bit more customizable. Three, two, one, let's go. Boom, 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 boom. Good go. Awesome. This roll cage is actually working pretty effectively. It's uh, It's got a slight wobble, but it's not doing the pendulum action that I usually get with uh, bringing parts up into space. All right, let's separate. That's why it took forever. Something broke, but I think we're okay. Yeah, that's why it took forever to drain the fuel because this main engine was not on. Oi, oi, oi. Uh-oh, we may have a little bit of an issue here. Yep, this is gonna go before the solid. Oh? I think... Yeah, we're good. Yeah. I just wasn't expecting that stage to go before the solid rocket booster. Okay, cool. Off to space. And now it's good flying from here. We've only gotten about 12,000 meters above the ground. Well, I guess we could start doing our gravity turn a little bit. A 45 degree, oh! Catch yourself. Oh, no, 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 not too far. Well, I guess that's fine. Just, just stop what you're doing. Just stop what you're doing, please. Thank you. Now we're picking up some speed, gaining some altitude. Yeah, we've got this. We've got enough fuel to do this. Right when we exit this thin atmosphere right here, I'm gonna cut the engines. Yeah, right about now. Cut. We're gonna wait till we get up to this. Yes, yes, I know. I know. All right, we're gonna start the burn. Good. Now that's about 160, so we're gonna wait till we get to that. And then we're gonna push it again. Like I said, this isn't going to be precise, but I at least want to correct this large margin here. Maybe, you know, 10,000 meter difference is alright, but <laughs> not this big. Alright. And 160, 169, great. That's actually much better than I was hoping for. Awesome. Okay, so the last thing to do. We've got a little fuel remaining, but you know what? Who gives a crap? Let's just, uh... Ooh, what are you doing? Stop. Stop you moving. Oh, God. Let's undock from this thing. Good. That's gone. Wiggle out of there. Goodbye. Okay, now let's actually speed up some time to get away from this thing. Good. We're going to rename the vessel, the IYSS, make it a station. Actually, from here we can actually do the int. There we go. We can fit that in there. Awesome. Undock this. And there we have it. Let's quickly... right there. Yeah, this is dead in the water, I forgot. We don't... <laughs> we don't actually have... a Kerbal in there. Okay, well, we'll just tell him we lit the place up for him. He's gonna love it anyways. Alright, great. What are you? You're... you're gone. Okay, this bottom one... 
for 1 minute 27 seconds, that would be the probe. Maybe. Let's, uh... I don't want to delete the wrong thing, because that... <laughs> that would not be good. Okay, it would have been bad. But that's why I didn't do it. Alright, we'll destroy the 23 minute one. And guess what, guys? We have the International YouTube Space Station ship. <laughs> Up in space. Let's uh, let's rename this actually. Not enough crew. All right. We can't rename it though. It looks like Try Dying to Live is gonna have to make this the station, like I thought I did. But that's all right. All right, guys. Well, I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and definitely stay tuned for the progression of this space station. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.